Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby and this is a very special episode because this time it's not about me. It's about my subscriber, Michelle from the Netherlands. You know how to do my subscribers build in some of my uh, videos. This one is special and I wanted to spend a whole video about it because it's nice to see what other people are building. It's, it's easy to put something on a piece of wooden board, on a little here and there, but when you want to build a complete system, something you can put in a nice, beautiful case, it's, it's a whole different story and becomes very difficult. But, so it's nice for you guys to see what others are doing. What's so special about this system is that it uses a combination of uh, Ian Canada's uh, uh, power supplies, the, the nice clocks and all that stuff and also combines it with a PCM174 DAC and the different uh, power supplies that uh, Michel put together in a nice beautiful case. He spent a lot of time designing this case and the beauty of it. I also made some nice handles. It's a combination of wood and metal. A great attention to detail like all these uh, uh, copper uh, shielding. I love copper shielding. I'm very big on that and uh, you can see it's got lots of that and, and done very nicely. Before I go in details about Michelle's system, if you have something you are building that you'd like to share with us, please send me some pictures, even a little video, or it could be as small of a system and as simple as can be, or it could be a very elaborate system. Uh, everything is great. We all want to see what others are building, and by watching what others build, we learn a lot. Uh, uh, yes, I make videos and I show you guys what I build, but I'm not a representation of a lot of people, just me. But when you see a lot of different builds, we tend to learn from each other and we can make some great uh, build ourselves. So please share some if you have any that you'd like to share with us. My an email is in the uh, main page. You just click on the little arrow beside Gapster and you should be able to see my email there. And from there, you can just send me an email. So let's see, what is so special about Michel's system? Uh, he's using a lot of combination of uh, some of Egan Canada's uh, Pure Pie, the FIFO Pie, the nice clocks. He's using some nice power supplies. He didn't go super extravagant with the ultra capacitors and not everybody wants to do that. And you could do a great system by just doing some simpler power supply. So there's great attention to detail. You also, uh, putting a system in a nice case, like I said, is very difficult because it requires a lot of, uh, a lot of attention to detail. Where are you going to put this? Where are you going to put that? How are you going to keep it all in one case? And you also did a beautiful job on the wooden uh, front and the casing on top and uh, the, even the handles on the side. So all in all, it came together in a nice, beautiful piece of art and a piece that will create beautiful sounding music. I had to change the original sound because we don't want to get a copyright on YouTube, but that sounded great. Uh, you can adjust the volume by hand. You can also use a remote control to control it. So there's, it's quite just like a normal system you would buy for $10,000 off the market. I asked Michel, how does it sound? And he said, if I compare my PCM1794 DAC with one that I made recently for a good friend, not exactly the same board, but now with an Ian Canada Q7 reclocker, standard clocks, but and a mid-quality power supply, the signature is about the same, but his has a little bit more refined and calmer sound and a blacker background. He had other streamers such as the Hadass Tone 1, the Allo Boss 1.2, ESS Sabre 9018, Philips 1543 dual DAC chip, an output transformer, they do not sound with as much detail, space and ease as his PCM1794 DAC. I think with respect to Ian Canada's product, they do something positive for the sound. 
Michelle mentioned that the cost of this system for the people that want to know is roughly around a thousand euros and he bought most of it from Audiophonics in France. Also, it took him roughly about three weeks of lots of work uh, to build uh, the system. So let's have a close look at the system. Keep an eye on my red arrow. You can see here the dual uh, PCM1794 DAC. Uh, it's a pretty substantial uh, unit. And uh, on the other side here you see the triple uh, power supply by LHY. And it does uh, do 12 volt, plus 12, minus 12 and also 5 volt. All what the uh, PCM1794 will need. And then we look at close up here, you can see the E in Canada stack. On the bottom we can see the Pure Pi. And then you can see here the uh, UC conditioner. There's two uh, super capacitors. And uh, this is the 50MA with a nice pair of acu-silicon clocks that are hiding underneath the uh, copper shield that you see on top. And uh, that's a pretty, that shield is a really nice and you can see how we actually wired a ground wire to it and that's very important. There's a little delay timer there for a soft start uh, and also you can see uh, on uh, this side there's another power supply to power the screen and also there's some relays for various function to start the system and so forth. A lot of shielding in the system which is uh, really nice to see and uh, you can see on this side here there's a rotary encoder and he actually has all the code in the description actually below so check it out if that's something that interests you he is using a uh, volumio as a software and he's using a very nice screen this is a very long screen it's a 7.9 inch uh, wave share uh, screen if you want to know all the little details, all the parts used, and uh, it's all in the description below. I'm also going to put a link to Michelle's uh, YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out. If you have any uh, questions, you can ask him in the comments below. Uh, hopefully he'll respond if you have any particular uh, questions for him. Also, uh, Michel talks about his story, how he started his DIY journey. He had to quit work and uh, he was, uh, had a bit of a hard time for a while. And that's how he started his DIY journey. It's all in the description below. Check it out. I'll let you read it the way he wrote it. If you're building a system and you'd like to share it with us, doesn't matter, big or small, send me an email and we can go from there. In the corner on top, I'm going to put a link about 10 songs you can listen to on your system. And in the bottom, I'm going to put a link to the D6 DAC that you can build fairly easily. And there will be a little speaker in the middle if you like to support the channel and subscribe. Take care and I hope to see you again.